I'm gonna keep this short, sweet, and simple for the Rode wireless mic. Basically, the most important thing for anybody watching these reviews is how is the mic quality, and I'm just gonna compare it to my iPhone 14 Pro Max. Right here, we're talking through the Rode wireless mic. Of course, we have that windscreen on, which works very well outside. You have that clip to put onto your shirt here, which and this is how I've been filming for the most part, just like so, very discreet. And then we have our uh, input connected up to the iPhone there. Let's turn off the Rode mic and get into the iPhone audio and show you the comparison. Now here we have the iPhone audio. As you can hear, it has much more echo to it. It's not as crispy and clear. And the Rode mic is just hands down 10 times better than traditional iPhone audio or any of these cheap mics that you're going to be getting. So I've been very happy with it. Of course, here we have that input that you're going to put in here. Now, one of the biggest struggles I did have for the iPhone was how to connect the mic into my phone. Now there is an adapter that you can buy straight from the Rode website, but I simply had this USB-C to lightning adapter, which is very hard to find, believe it or not. But you wanna make sure you get the USB-C to lightning adapter and then plug it into a USB cord if you're going to be filming with the iPhone for your road mic. And now I've been talking this whole time with my iPhone audio and I probably should have plugged in the Rode wireless again, but let's plug this in one more time to show you guys the difference and then we will be done with this review. Okay, we're back with the Rode wireless mic. As you can hear again, just so much better audio. This was one of the best investments I have ever made when it comes to making better videos, higher quality videos. Uh, right next to lighting, audio is the most important aspect to your videos and Rode is the way to go. So I hope this review helped you make informed decisions.